Right, sorry I'm a minute or two late. Um, I needed a warm drink and a quick comfort break. Um, but here we are for um, product suite number three, video number four, live video number four. Um, welcome in if you're coming in to join me live or if you're catching up at a later date somewhere. Um, it's lovely to have you with us. And for this video, we're going to be having a look at the Well Suited Suite. Um, and I am just looking for the video to share it over to the, to the custom to the group page. Um, so while that is just chugging along, um, I hope everybody is doing okay. So I needed a hot drink. I'm feeling a bit chilly. Um, my craft room's not been in a great deal of use, so the heating hasn't been on, and like everywhere, and the heat builds up, doesn't it? So I need to start building that heat up again. Um, so it is a bit chilly today. Uh, let's hit share on that. So the well suited suite um, is unashamedly a masculine suite um, but that doesn't mean that you can't you know create sort of more girly things with it I've seen people doing that it's funny isn't it how we um, we're always asking for more men's cards we want things for men's cards we need more <laughs> ideas for men's cards and the minute that we get something that's unashamedly masculine we're going, oh, but you don't only have to use it for men's cards. Look, you can do these things with it for um, to make them feminine cards. Oh, I don't want to do that. Um, so, yeah, that did make me smile when I saw a um, demonstrator. I think it was a post yesterday saying, you don't only have to use it for men's cards. Um, that's what we're always asking for is more things for men's cards. Right, so the well suited suite in comparison to some of the other suites in the catalogue, this is quite a small, compact little suite. Um, it has a stamp set, a die set, some papers, and some twine. Um, but just because it is small doesn't mean it isn't beautiful. There's lots um, of good things in here. So, what have we got? Let's move this to one side for now. It's on page 66 in the new mini catalogue. And we have got a stamp set called Handsomely Suited, which has these really great ties in it. Um, so sort of standard ties and bow ties. You've got two different sorts of bow ties, a quite little fat little one and a sort of a slightly longer, narrower tie. You've got some really great um, sentiments. So have a happy Father's Day, handsome. Um, but you could sort of block out that Father's Day and perhaps put that birthday in there. Have a happy birthday, handsome. Um, to one of the world's greatest dads, thank you, you're the best. So although there's got Father's Day um, greetings in there, you don't only have to use it for Father's Day. Um, you've got a die set that goes with it. Um, and you've got um, a die there that cuts out the tie. And you've got dies for the two bow ties. You've got your jacket lapels and your collar here. Um, and you've got your little shirt collar, um, you've got pockets, you've got a second bit that fits on top of your um, die just here. You have these this stitched strip just here that you can use, like I'll show you in a minute. There's a shirt front, you've got little buttons. Um, but the other thing you've got is these clips just here. And these clips are for your braces. Um, my dad always wore braces, so this set made me smile the minute I saw it. Um, he wasn't very tall, um, he was really quite round, um, and he always had his braces on. Um, so yeah, so this did make me smile. So obviously you can use this for your braces as well, and there's your clips that go on them. 
so good fun so we'll have a bit of a play with that in a minute so that's your stamp set and your dies that go with it there's a twin pack of twine that goes with this um, particular sweet twine is always useful for men's cards um, where you want a bit of something but you don't want ribbon um, and then you've got a knight of navy one in there and a basic grey so good twin pack of twine that you're going to be able to use with your masculine projects and then you've got this paper and this paper is great you can see shirts and ties in it straight away but you can also of course use it for generic backgrounds and things this one it's sort of quite like a quite a wool weave um, if you want a sort of woolly tweedy jacket you can see the shirts in there can't you you've got that check there it's great for a, for a man's sort of work shirt isn't it look at this what about that for ties I'm not sure that you'd want a shirt in that but hey you know whatever um, you've got this spotty sort of check here that you could either have a sort of like a suit material, shirt material. You could have it for your ties again. Again, this one would make quite a nice fun shirt as well as ties. You've got the pinstripe. You've got this black and grey and blue stripe that makes you go a bit boss-eyed when you look at it, but good fun. And you've got this navy and a nice paisley going on there as well so great fun and these papers have been created and they have been scaled um, to perfectly fit you know your dies for your ties and your bow ties and your shirts and your suits so the patterns in them um, are just scaled beautifully for the job that they are intended for so great little bundle of products now i have used my dies to create a little card but funnily enough it's not using these papers this was a card i've created to showcase some of the papers that you can get currently during celebration for free if you join the stamping up family so um, if you join the stamping up family as well as your usual starter kit um, you also get five packs of um, papers in the different colour families and these are the colours from, these colours all come from the um, subtle, um, no they don't, from the neutral colour pack. So um, yeah, so I've created this shirt with its little button down collar and a button on the pocket and I've got, to, I've used that front strip for the front of the shirt and I've got buttons coming down there and your tie so um yeah and a little greeting peeking out of the pocket so I have had a bit of a play with this stamp set and dies but not a great deal so now is the time to let's get playing with this stamp set okay so I think I think for our first card we will go, I think we'll have a whole jacket and a, um, and a shirt. If you have a look at the samples in here, you can see here, you've got a card that is a jacket and a shirt going on there. Um, you've got all bow ties, you've got those pockets used as bunting. You've got a really funky shirt here with, with cute braces coming on it, coming down on it. So um, yeah good fun so let's get ourselves and I think we'll get a piece of what's a basic grey card base would be a good place to start And I'm going to cut this in half at 14, 14.9. Move that other piece out of the way and then we'll score it in half at 10 and a half. And 
going to take this die just here and I am going to cut a front panel out. Just having a little look, let me find a bit of washi tape or something just to stick that in place for now. We want that to be central on that card just there. Actually, I'm just thinking, do I want... Actually, I am going to take a piece of this paper and I am going to cut this. I'm going to have a tweedy jacket. Great for the geography teachers in your life. <laughs> so I'll cut that at ten and a half. I'm going to cut it at fourteen point nine, probably making it airing on the side of being a little smidgen longer rather than shorter. I'm going to take that off of there, let's get my glue. Let me Stick this paper. Of course, there's no reason why you've got to stick to these papers. You could have great fun in games creating um, funky shirts, particularly if you've got somebody in your life that likes a funky shirt. You can create waistcoats rather than jackets. Um, I've seen lots of different options. Somebody made a jumper. I'll have to re, re um, visit how they did that. No reason why you couldn't take your V-neck just slightly smaller and have a V-neck jumper. But yeah, great, great fun that you can have with these. So I'm going to. Stick that there and cut that V out of that front jacket. quite gone far enough on the top of the card but that's okay because I can just take my scissors and follow the line of that V. Hello Linda. Right, so that's our V on the front of our card. Obviously, this is where you can sort of start seeing that you could make it into a ladies' card. You could have that in sparkly, something like the black glitter card that had been in, um, that we had, I think has been carried over, hasn't it? So that you could add black glitter and gems and have, you know, ball gowns and things going on. Um, but so, But for now, that is... Um, our front of our jacket. We're now going to take our lapels and I'm going to cut those out of this same paper. rather funky tweed jacket going on. Got a rather nice um, triangle there. We'll perhaps have to combine that with some of the stitch triangle dies to create something with that. Right, so this is going to be our jacket front. I'm going to take some dimensionals. 
some of the mini ones, pop them along here. And we'll raise this up just slightly. I hope if you're a member of my customer group, my me crafty group, you're joining in with the the questions. There are little prizes. There'll be draws later, and there'll be a little prize for a giveaway after each of the sweet from each of the sweet products a little taster and then of course there's a scavenger hunt going on as well an alphabet scavenger hunt so grab your catalogue or go and find it online and join in with that right so there's a jacket could do with a few buttons I think they need to be mm, possibly black let me find Got plenty of little oddments of black so let's They're really sweet these little buttons and um, one stuck in and the other four have all popped out <clears throat> they are um, embossed so you do get the embossed detail on them perhaps won't pick it up on the black ones but you get the uh, little holes and stitching detail not sure that you will pick that up no, I don't think that's going to want to play on that camera, but trust me, it's there. I'll have a couple of, they're quite tiny buttons for a big jacket, but could have had this as a, a gate fold card opening up either side that would be quite fun pop that on there right what shirt shall we have to go with our jacket we could have mad check could go spots so it really is going to depend who you are making this card for see I'm quite thinking somebody that's going to be wearing a jacket like that is going to be wearing quite a A subtle sort of a shirt quite reminds me actually of the jacket that my father-in-law used to wear and this definitely would be the sort of shirt that he would wear and again I'm gonna cut this ten and a half wide by 14.9 and we'll have that coming on the inside just here might need to trim that down a little bit but I'm going to stick it in place first stick that in and then I can turn it over and trim down this edge Now we're going to need to take this, I'm going to cut a pocket and a collar from there. And you'd 
run out of this paper you could use graph paper couldn't you for creating this shirt or if you happen to get any of those envelopes that have patterned inners I don't know that you get those quite so much these days but you used to a shirt and a pocket I think we'll have a die cut tie and we're also going to go for some braces <clears throat> so the tie I think I'm going to go with this stripy paper here looks sort of you know um old school tie one that you'd get at the golf club that's why that wasn't going very well there was a die underneath it So really you can have a great deal of fun with this depending on who you're making it for um, you've got your stamps and things that you can use for your ties if that helps you to create a particular tie that you're after or else you could just um, die cut a, a plain colored tie and add in detail whether that's stripes or whatever you need There's our nice stripy tie. It's coming in there. I am going to take uh, this little die just here and cut just that little bit out of this paper just because that will give me something to 3D up and give the knot on the tie a bit of dimension. stick on the top of there then I'm going to take I don't know whether that's going to be long enough no I think I'm going to need another strip of that paper just to cut a couple of the braces so you could as I say have a great deal of fun with this whether you've got somebody that sort of uses quite um, traditional has quite traditional shirts and ties whether it's you know you want to create somebody if, the, if they've been playing quiz master or during lockdown so you want to create them a glittery sparkly jacket sort of like you know um, for the hostess with host with the most or and sparkly bow tie you can let your imagination run away with you. this second strip through here I 
and then I'm going to take my two clips for my braces. I'm sure that it won't be long before we see somebody creating suspender belt clips with these. Finding some way to create fishnets. I was going to say not that that would be a masculine card, but it would just be a very different sort of masculine card, wouldn't it? Let's uh, run those through there. And you can see you've got that embossed detail on there. your braces right let's bring this one together move these papers out of the way for now we'll decide whether or not we need some more buttons in a minute. So I'm going to dimensionals on there that needs to come across just slightly if I'd be sensible if I was being sensible I would shut that and then find the best place for our shirt and tie our shirt and we'll take some glue And add that, tuck that tie underneath that collar. Let's put a couple of little dimensionals on the back of there. And we'll raise that up. So it looks like we've made a knot from it. I'm going to stick my shirt pocket down flat because my braces are going to come over the top of it. Quite nice about this particular shirt pattern is the um, got the lines on it that you can you can line it up against. Let's line that one up just here. There's our braces tucked inside. We could, of course, have a, a 
a pocket going on on our jacket on the front you could have pens sticking out of it um, your greetings and you can either add a greeting to the beginning in the middle there or you could we could put something on the inside and perhaps have a greeting panel on the back um, looking very sharp Vicky yes very much a sort of you know a sedate on the outside but a bit of funky going on underneath so yes so there's there's using all those dyes and those papers and how they can you can really start to play with those um, and think about how you would like to represent the man in your life in shirts and ties and braces and jackets um, so all good fun but of course we do also have all these fun stamp sets stamps as well so let's have a a bit of a play and we'll make a let's have a fun card I think let's use some bow ties aren't they right so I'm going to go for a piece of just whisper white I think Way for a minute, and let's come in with thirteen point nine, I think, by nine and a half. So this is obviously UK sizing. Ooh. Looks like my groove wants cleaning out. That was a bit, a bit furry. Let's just take the mini trimmer and trim off that edge. Now, I might even put the sticker on the back of this stamp yet. So let's just grab that. Is there a particular up and down? Let's take, oh, what should we have? Let's have real red. Pacific point. And crushed curry. Have a quick slurp of my drink. Grab my stamping scrub. Let's make sure it's good and damp and ready to go because I think we'll have a play with some bow ties. I'm going to try and get that. fairly central on there and 
managed to wobble that slightly. That's not good, is it? Let's open these up. So we'll give that a clean and then we'll come in on Daffodil Delight. Oh, I think that's going to fit quite nicely in there. Who knew? Let's come in with a Pacific Point. And I'll come in with Pacific Point again here. Um, Daffodil Delight. Real red. Real red again there. Point. And Daffodil Delight. I'm actually going to trim that card to, to meet the size of our stamping, I think. So let's trim it to nine and a half. No, eight and a half. So that's eight and a half wide. That's really dragging. Need to look at that. Got a bit of fluff in my, my trimmer groove, I think. So we'll trim that as well. So eight and a half centimetres by 13.9. We've got lots of fun little bow ties on there. What I might do is grab my sponge daubers so I tend to keep a sponge dauber for each colour that in each colour family and they're in boxes for the colour families and um, you can't get these wide cases anymore but any little Little box would work. That's rich raspberry, real red, and crushed curry. Excellent. So let's just pick up a bit of ink with my Pacific Point, and I'm just going to come in and Add in some colour on my bow ties. Crushed curry. And last but not least, some real red. So I'm only being quite gentle tickling over the top with the colour. Does it matter particularly that it goes over the edge? That's all good. Let's just pick up most of that ink so we're not getting it everywhere. to take this greeting that says have a happy father's day handsome This tape and some scissors. And it needs to be just a little bit narrower. Should be 
might almost be worth <coughs> measuring it and drawing it on your tape with a a ruler but I've now got that piece of tape that's gone across at the Father's Day and I think we'll take real red let's ink that stamp up and as always when you're masking don't forget to take your tape off and we'll have have a have a blank handsome. Right, I'm now going to take this a happy birthday to you and some Pacific Point. I'm not going to worry about um, masking this off. I'm just going to cut that stamp that and then I will cut that best I can by eye. Maybe I'll come in with my scissors. I think I will come in with my scissors. Just take that off of the top. So then we're going to be able to add our birthday in the middle of there. Would work quite nicely wouldn't it so let's cut that out Bring it up so it's central to take this next label up and I'm going to take a real red cardstock rummage around in my oddments perfect take let's have a look because I've got a big enough piece of real red in here I think so so this was eight and a half by 13.9 so I'm going to cut a piece that is nine by 14.4 base and we'll stick that together so 
So I'm going to stick my bow ties to my real red cardstock. Going to trim the edges slightly on that, make it a little less furry, and then let's stick our card front to our card base about like that. We'll pop our have a happy handsome just there let's raise his birthday up on some dimensionals And I think we'll pop that onto some dimensionals as well. I've got some larger ones here. And we'll pop that there so you can see the bow ties peeking out. We'll just squiggle it slightly so it's a little less wonky. So there we are. Have a happy birthday, handsome. So there's two very different cards created with that suite of products, the well suited suite. Um, so yeah, you can go very traditional or you can go a whole lot more funky. It's entirely up to you. But a lovely little sweet, great addition to your um, your crafting shelf because uh, we do sometimes struggle with those cards for the guys and this does give you a lot of fun options. So I will be back um, a little bit later with another suite of products. We've got two more to go in this marathon um, launch event. So um, if you haven't, if you've missed some of the others, do go and catch up, go back and have a look and catch up on some of the others um, and do come and join me again later. So see you all soon.